Hey Pam, this is Graham, just uh, signing in to, to see if I can take you on an adventure through Fallout. I have absolutely no idea if this is recording right now, so hopefully nobody comes in and ends with me talking to myself while playing this game. Um, anyways, so, um, just a heads up that uh, I, I have been playing this for a long time. Um, I will not tell you exactly how many hours because it will indicate that I have not been sleeping at all for the past, I don't know, ever since this came out. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's been pretty cool so far. So it's got pretty much the same kind of graphics and uh, situation as uh, the first Fallout that you saw me play um, with a lot of the same guns. There's also the same kind of irritating people who follow you, and they always have stuff to uh, to say that's absolutely ridiculous. This guy will pour out his heart and give you a uh, um, slightly homoerotic sense. Here, I'll, I'll demonstrate. Hey, go ahead. Paladin dance. You need to talk. Yes, I need to talk. Uh, why he's not talking to me now? That's weird. Just wanted to check in. See how you feel things are going between us. <laughs> You're one hell of a soldier, and I'm proud to call you my friend. Uh, okay, okay. Never That's mind. That's all for now. Affirmative. Uh, yeah, I should probably have showed you my character. So this is my character. So I have. An, I wish I could show it to you properly. Oh wait, maybe. Nope. Um. So this is my character's back. <laughs> This is my little scribe that I picked up. That was pretty funny. Um, I should have returned him a long time ago, but I just haven't taken the time to drop him back off at the base. Um, so, let's think. So I've got lots of active things that I could be doing. There's the pit boy you've seen this before. Uh, so quests, let's see. Let's see. So. Um, I'm just checking to see what I should do. Okay. No, I already killed them. Um, okay. I'm going to go investigate the water treatment plant. Just, you know, to start off with something simple. Do, do, do. So you can do fast traveling and stuff, but uh, it's actually a lot more fun just to, to run around and you find a whole bunch of different things that you never would have realized were there if you were just to fast travel between locations. So, yeah, I just came across this crazy place called Quincy, which was full of really tough bad guys, and yeah, I took them all out pretty easy actually, because I'm awesome. So I named my guns, by the way, just to show you that right now. Uh, named this one Big Ben. <laughs> I don't know why. You remember the fat man from the other games. Grognak's Axe. Oh, there's so many good ones. Uh. So there's also some really cool power armor that you can get, but I have not really... Oh yeah, and sorry. I'm distracted halfway through each sentence that I say. That is called the Pridwin. That is this guy's troop. And I really wish that I had gotten this worked, working earlier because uh, it was probably the coolest thing ever in the game, in any game that I've ever seen, where I just finished a mission and was standing on a roof and all of a sudden it was dark out and um, it was dark out before all of a sudden actually. So it was dark out, and then all of a sudden I saw these lights and heard this siren going off, and this massive blimp floated over and was like calling out um, to all the Brotherhood uh, knights and uh, paladins, saying, you know, you need to regroup, um, everyone return to the Pridwin, which is what that thing's called. But you'll see that soon, I think. Super awesome. Um, I've been trying to delay going through the storyline because I don't want it to be over too quickly. So, while I have spent a long time doing a bunch of different things, I really haven't spent much time on the main quest line, which I think is probably to your benefit. 
because I don't want you to miss too much. So far, maybe what I'll tell you is, uh, so the scoop is I was an army official, um, a soldier, and uh, me and my family lived in a little town just outside of Boston. And uh, this vault tech guy came up to the door and was like, hey man, like, um, because you're an army official, we have a place for you in this special vault that's located just outside of town. So I accepted, of course, because it just made sense. Um, and my Stop gameplay it, might, run, might be a little bit affected by the fact that I'm fighting right now. My story, I mean. Um, so, so um, anyway, so yeah, he came and was like, hey, um, <laughs> I gave him a minigun. <laughs> look, at how, look at how awesome it is, it's glowing. Um, here, I'll just take him over there. I got a single shot here. There you go, he's dead. Um, Anyways, so the vault tech guy came to the door um, and signed us up for a lovely spot down in the vault, which ended up being a horrible place where the um, uh, they cryogenically froze us without our permission and ended up taking my lovely uh, daughter, or son I should say, and uh, wife and now kind of my mission or my motivation is to go find them and uh and rescue them from everyone um so um yeah so really cool came out of the vault uh because uh the power shut down and um 200 years had passed and all the other vault dwellers were kind of um killed or used for experiments and uh and now I'm just on a hunt to try and find my my child and my uh, my wife. Unfortunately, perished or died. I don't know why I was being dramatic there. Um, so what am I saying now? Um, I just need to get rid of some stuff because it's too way too heavy. I am carrying way too much stuff. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Anyways, so trying to find my son. Um, outside of that. Um, there's a couple different factions going on in, uh, in the world at present. Um, there's the Minutemen, which are, you know, these guys who, kind of similar to the NCR in that they, you know, have this big presence, but, um, unfortunately, um, you know, there's other dominant factions like the, the Raiders who are just horrible all around and the Gunners who are, once again, horrible people that try and kill you every time they see you. Um, and then, let's see, outside of that, let me think. Um, there's also the synths. And actually, it's kind of neat, The uh, what I'm carrying right now, what I'm wearing as a, a helmet, which you probably saw earlier, is actually synth armor. So it looks pretty cool, I thought. Um, you can also, I do have a ton of power armor and I'll show you my, my little sanctuary, my little home that I've made, my home away from home, the home that I retreat to when I'm sad in the real world. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, let's see, I need to drop some other stuff, but I don't want to get rid of all my good stuff. Maybe I'll have to give it to him. Hey, awaiting your command. Yeah, yeah, you are awaiting my command. Be glad to share the bird. <laughs> yeah, he's such a douche. All right. So I'm gonna see what I can store here. Oh, sweet, he can take lots. Oh, okay, nice. So that means I could probably actually pick up the stuff I just dropped. <laughs> yeah, and he just sank down to the bottom. It's funny because um, when wearing power armor, you can't swim. You just go directly down to the bottom of the water, bottom of the ocean, or not ocean, but uh, whatever body of water you're in. Um, which I thought was kind of cool. Kind of neat to have that realism. Whereas in the last game, I think... Um, I can't... Wait. In, I don't remember if in the last game you could swim or not. But in this one, you can. Um, so right now, I'm trying to get to... Where am I trying to go? I'm trying to get to the water treatment plant. Okay, cool. And I am being very lazy right now, so I am just gonna swim. Plug, 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 plug. Oh, 
Oh, and that is one of the most powerful things in the game, unfortunately. And now I'm going to try and swim back. <laughs> Do you remember this, Pam? This is where I run away repeatedly. Get out of here, little kid. Look at, look at how weird he is. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm stuck. Oh, God, Pam, I'm stuck. Uh, uh. Okay. There he is. Okay. So, once again, in this game, they do have the max. Which is pretty awesome. And unfortunately, I don't have any action points, so I can't use it. I do have some pretty sweet guns, though, so maybe I can demonstrate how cool some of them are. Let's see. I've got the sniper rifle. Got a rocket launcher. Recoil compensated. Ooh, oh, this is my favorite. Watch this. Oh, I might not be able to hit him. So, with the railway gun, you can actually staple people to the walls. Which is pretty awesome, I thought. See? Oh, I wish I could take that. Because it's hard to find the, uh, hard to find railway spikes. And it also does do a little honking. Or tooting. Which is fun. For some reason my health is really low. Okay. Oh yeah, and they do have the same, um, you can set up the radio, so I'll do that in a sec. One sec. Just want to have a couple of my huge number of stim packs. I think this one is my favorite. Ooh. Same system for unlocking stuff, which is pretty cool. Got it. I am remarkably good at it, so. Alright, so. Probably gonna come across a couple more of these little guys. Yeah, there we go. I knew he'd be there. I'm a 60 minute man. And I don't know why he's hiding from me, it's kind of weird. Oh, okay, yeah. So Pam, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quick save. <laughs> this is a new feature that I really enjoy in this game. And I might die, just a heads up. Let's see what I got that can take these guys. So I'm gonna toss down a couple mines, I think. That might help. Probably not, though. Cover, sir. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, he's so fast. So that's a, oh, God. So that's the Myrler King. I wonder if I can pick him up so you can see him. Oh, he's too heavy to carry up there. Lancer Captain Kells said it's going to take a lot of hard work. <sighs> okay. That's unfortunate because they are Looking scary looking. I want to be as good as you. Yeah, kind of neat. There's a whole bunch of different monsters in this game. And also this, watch this. This scared the shit out of me the first time it happened because I was taking a couple of these little eggs and then these things came out. <laughs> so funny. Uh, they're pretty easy to kill though. But it's funny to watch this guy go after them. Hmm, fire that egg. Oh, I tried to throw a grenade. That didn't work out at all. Let's see, okay. Yeah, eat it. 